guys welcome to tonight's video we are at the at the lesson barn and sophie's gonna ride sophie and i are both hoping that the coach lets her <coughs> jump a little higher like i don't even know if the crossroads here are 18 inches but she wants to like try jumping a little tiny bit higher so that she can see if her horse will actually jump because right now she just kind of steps over the poles but anyway we are here so let's get going i love that green tractor sam you need a nice big green tractor like that and some cows i hear a cow can you grab my saddle pad so dad can grab my saddle sure my half pad and saddle pad half pad and saddle pad the girl. The girl. <sighs> she asked sam to pick her saddle pad today and he picked this color wait what's this? we brought you girls <laughs> i think so you just need to bring the saddle she the right i'm pretty sure she's a smart girl See another horse, a new horse maybe. And it's huge. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Gabby. She wouldn't like him. She would love him. I could tell. He's like Chino, but way taller. He's tall. I have to ask Brandon who is Mr. Tall, Dark, and Handsome in the stall. Oh, he's. It's a boy I looked. Unless his teats are like. Unless it's a girl and the teats are massive. Man, I love that horse. And he seems gentle and he's quiet. I think he's new. I'm obsessed. I'm in love. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? No. About that big, nice, gorgeous horse? No. What are you thinking? Looks like, um... Chino. Huge. You're huge. Looks like a thoroughbred. I don't like thoroughbreds. Oh, I don't know. It looks like a warm blood to me. What? I don't know, man. No, he doesn't look like a Bendix. He's not that long. He's, I think longer. He's a big boy. Sophie thinks that, Sophie has a feeling, you guys. She has a feeling that Brandon's going to let her jump a little bit bigger. We're not talking like three feet. We're talking like 18 inches. <laughs> 18 inches. Or if she's not going to jump bigger, I'd like to see her work on some canter. We haven't been working on canter. If I try to jump green foot on her right away, she would not go over it. I don't think she'd go over it either. You know what? She would probably start to try and we'd be like, wait, hold up. Why is that up there? Yeah. Go yeah, you'd go over it. She would. <laughs> but she's, no. No. You'll be fine. So he has been working on canter with lady like like i've said a lot of times the lady wasn't really cantered under saddle before sophie got her so that's so that's something new for lady and she's been working through like all of her anxiety over it and she's been doing great but ever since we were getting ready for champs a couple weeks before we were getting ready for champs she stopped with the canter so she could just work on what she needed to work on for the show um i feel like we've been it's been three months now and we've been going slow 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 i feel like we could take it up a tiny notch she has cantered here before but not for a really long time she's only been cantering at home sophie has all the skills she needs to like teach her to slow down in the canter and to like be calm so yeah yeah there was a squirrel just ran by on that beam oh i just want to like something something new would be fun but anyway i saw a comment the other day because i was a comment i was saying how we we're going so we went we've been going so slow with lady we have been going so slow with her and someone commented and said like taking her to a show is not going slow and they said some other stuff to you but i can't remember but the truth is that we took her to appropriate shows shows that she wasn't going to be doing anything more than what we were doing at home so we made sure that the shows were safe but we wanted to go to shows for us so many reasons we wanted to preserve ladies ability to go anywhere this horse has been everywhere gone everywhere done everything and we wanted that to be a big part of her life with us so that she stays in that rhythm of like being comfortable going anywhere and we want she's going to be a show horse so we want her to be able to do the things that sophie's working on either at home or in a show environment so what i meant was that we aren't pushing her training too hard or because we're letting her build up and we're going slow that way do you like her in that color yeah she looks cute in any color all right 
it is almost dark and we are not even starting yet it is going we are gonna lose daylight you guys and we're gonna lose lady because she's dark so he's the only one out in the rain and she is warming up and looking good i wonder if she'll do a little canter at the end of her warm-up she's really like been trying not to do it too much canter because she wants her to focus on other things literally it's going to be blurry because of the dark. She's using the whole ring. My friends, my friend was telling me today that her kid, who's nine months younger than Sylvie, also went through this huge uh, confidence boost. And then watching like this lesson that was just before us was the age just below Sylvie. And they're doing all the same stuff that Sylvie was doing. Are you gonna do any canter? Dude. Did she say soon or did she say dude? I am not looking forward to riding inside. I don't know if Lady can ride in the, this arena. It's pretty small, but look at, she puts her head down a lot now. Like, have you guys noticed that she's learning to really relax? She's doing phenomenal. I know I just keep saying that, but. First day of spring, and I just want to sing to everything. She's out here with no friends, nothing, just being a good girl. No friends out here with her, and she's being a good girl. Oh, no. Uh -oh. <laughs> well, we're riding inside, but I mean, there's not going to be much light. It's not a lot brighter in here. You excited? Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're still warming up. <laughs> yep, she's like, I'll go up that door. I don't really like the green on her. That's moving every single little thing. To them birds flying free. Fish in the sea. Flowers and trees every little bumblebee. I wanna sing. Ooh, ah. Are they the same size? Are they the same size? No, watch the tall, but they're built the same. Yeah. Brandon says that Watcha and Lady are built the same way, but Watcha's taller. And everybody has always said we need a Watcha built horse for Sophie. To them birds flying free, fish in the sea, flowers and trees, every little bumblebee. I want to sing. Kids playing hoops, going loop to loop. Their rainbow colored bouncy balls and their ice cream scoops. Got my shoes in my hand and my feet. <laughs> She's confused about these pools. She does them really good at our house. In the sand. I got 20 ducklings in a row like a little marching band And they sing Ooh, ah, mm. There we go So the footing is totally different in here It's, it's more compact and it's got some little ruts in it. See, did you see that? Like she she's not 
she's trying to figure out this small area <coughs> but she went into like she was moving like she was a, a cart horse there for a minute when she gets she's all discombobulated she's acting like she's a buggy pony she's been cantering really nicely at home i think she's trying to figure out this small space yeah i think when i Girl. That was really good. We're doing the truck fences. You guys are oh seeing our right lady needs to step up and through and think mind that more legs soften that the hand. She soft gets it now. There we oh, go. What a good oh. girl. I think they could barely watch. Holy moly. I, I can't watch. Good girl, good girl. There we go. That's okay, we don't have to canter as long as she lands. Little left leg, straight line. Good, so do the same thing. She's like, oh, back walk hill. Good girl, good girl. The hand in front. Well, that was good, Sophie. How'd you feel about that? She needs to really like get her confidence. So she's, <coughs> it's not a change. Oh, she's licking and chewing like crazy. She's getting it. Do it on her own terms, which is fine. Patience is key to anything. Oh, we're oh, that no. okay. Don't teach her that. Good girl. Long right leg. <gasps> Whoa. Good girl. I think we're going to turn to the left. There All right. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Give her a big pat. Good girl. That was good. Okay. Forward, good girl. She jumps the funny colored ones. <laughs> She's like, oh, fire. She's doing her best. Yeah. I just wanted to explain how, how, la about ladies back end. I see a lot of comments saying that she can't carry Sophie, but she absolutely can carry Sophie. Um, and I see a lot of comments about her back end. And the problem is that she was a cart horse. So her power was all in the front here. She doesn't know how to use the back end. Is building all new muscles back there. She doesn't, she, it's going to take a year before, but yeah, but she's come a long way. Like she's come a long way. In the last three months, all the hills at her house is, are working, like her canter from when we first started. I need to make a video showing her canter, like her back end was a way worse than it is now. So it's going to take a year before she even starts looking like a hunter type. Like, I know you almost ran Brandon over, I couldn't watch. That was terrifying. I was terrified. Come on, let's go. I was literally terrified that whole entire time. Like, I, I don't even know if I caught any of the jumps because I had to close my, I closed my eyes. 
Yeah, there were a couple of nice ones. Like, she doesn't like those colored poles. Oh, is that why? Yeah, because you were scared of it? No, I wasn't scared. Oh, well, anyways. So, it's going to take a long time. She can carry Sophie, but she did great. You did great. Oh, she is wet. We're going to have to get her cooler. <coughs> And you're gonna have to put that on her. We might have to like shave her down for winter. You might have to get shaved for the first time in your life. No, don't worry, we won't do that. No. We will pay someone. We'll pay someone? I'm not shaving No, I don't want to shave her, but she's a sweater. She's a sweat girl. Ah, oh, baby. I know. She, yeah, she's not overly tired. She's just sweaty. But yeah. But yeah, I just wanted to explain that because I get a lot of comments about her back end. And yeah, it's not great, but we're doing the best we can. It takes a lot of time to change everything about how she moves. She does not like that jump because it's a, it's a skinnier jump. Like Is that it? Together, and she's like, eh, I'm not going through that. She All does right. not even like going through the wall in that standard. Yeah. She's so I'm so proud of her though. I'm so proud of you. That was like our first like... Jumps and canters after. And it feels good? Yeah, because then her jumping and then cantering. Did she like canter one, after? After once. After <laughs> Hopefully I caught it because I was not watching. <laughs> I just I just have <coughs> I just am not good at watching things that I'm not sure about. What was I was very proud of her for? What? Not the jumping. But how fast she calmed down after we cantered. Yeah, so she has anxiety about cantering because it's all new to her. And then it was a new place, a new She's indoor. Been there I know, but I it's not. Her <laughs> over the poles and not going over them. I know, but it's not her home. But anyways, yeah, I was proud of that too. I noticed that. Like she gets really anxious when she's. It was like two laps though. She was like, oh, okay, we're good. Yeah. So she. And I was like, okay, well now we're as slow as. So she gets anxious when she canters, but she calmed down really fast this time with Sophie. She loves Sophie. You guys can't see, but she's just like right next to her. Her head is right next to Sophie. That was fun. Like we were hoping for something like that. Come on, ladybug, taking you home, giving you some dinner. She doesn't like what? going in when she poops. Like she doesn't like to go in. Good. Aw. Going home, honey.